Okay, so here's the crazy idea, guys. Now, I know that I traded for an Onyx for a Bellsprout. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. It, 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 it's whatever, guys. But what didn't leave a good taste in my mouth was the fact that it was named Rocky. It wasn't my nickname or anything like that. Plus, that takes that takes our traded Pokemon down to one. If you guys know what I mean. Because we're kind of having a little difficulty of people or Pokemon listening to us. And, well, it enables us to do a little something something right here. And Crap Baskets, I was training my Lucky... For the whole episode and I completely forgot about you know restoring its PP and all that stuff so let's go with Chico and see if we can actually capture this Pokemon and well here comes that tackle attack all right yeah I'm not gonna be using poison powder because that is a huge risk if you can't capture it plus we got two great balls right here all right let's try this again all right What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. Okay, so <laughs> what are we doing here against uh, another Onyx? Well, I was, yeah, I was messaged via Twitter that, you know, maybe it wasn't a good idea to actually have a traded Onyx on my team. And I, I felt the same way just because, well, it, it's not my nickname. It's, n yeah, it really isn't my nickname. I... It's not something that I would nickname an Onyx. And, uh, yeah, I was actually, uh, well, some people have told me that you can actually find level 8 Onyxes right here in the Union Cave, the bottom first floor, I believe. And I was like, I didn't really believe that until, yeah, the last episode I was telling you about the crazy idea. So here's the crazy idea. I'm going to capture an Onyx right here. That way it takes away that boosted, uh, that boosted experience points thing right here. Plus... I can trade it, I can actually trade it and evolve it now, if you guys know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, uh, you know what, let's go ahead and throw a Great Ball. We already have a Great Ball right here. Let's go. Let's get this. Okay, come on. Stay in the Great Ball, be my Pokemon, because we already caught you by trade. And three, there it is, guys, throwing out that peace sign. I know my logic or my stuff doesn't make any sense, but guess what? We caught our very own Onyx that's going to actually help us. So, let's see if it, this actually uh, works. Okay, I have two nicknames for this Pokemon. And it has something to do with Power Rangers. Because I was actually watching Power Rangers a, a, a few up, like a, a few minutes ago. Uh, let's see. Sir... How do you spell Serpent? Sir Punt. There we go, Sir Punt. Oh, crap basket. Serpent Terror. Oh, wow. Yeah, we have enough. Uh, terror... Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to my very own Serpentera Pantera. Hold on just a sec. Let me <laughs> let me um let me let me get this correct before you guys start making fun of me for this. Okay, so let's see, Serpent. Uh, let's see. Hold on just a sec. Serpent Terra. Nope, that's not how it's spelled. Pantera. Pantera. Uh, let's see, Super Terra. Oh, yeah, I spelled it incorrect. <laughs> Draven in his uh, spelling, Serpent. Oh, Serpent Terra. Let's see, Serpent Terra. Let's see. Let's see, Serpent Terra. Power Rangers. Ah, look at this. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I know it's a dragon, but we misspelled this Pokemon's name. Let's go right ahead and re let's go ahead and fix this, all right? So Serpent. Yeah, Serpent. There we go. Terra. And if you guys don't know who Serpent Terra is, it's actually that big old dragon zord that Lord Zed had. It was super powerful, but if it attacked one time, it's going to take a long time to power it up again. Yeah. So say hello to Serpentera. I'll be right back with you guys for what's about to happen. Okay, so here we are back in Pokemon Stadium 2. And I did say I was going to do this later on, but... 
you know what? Thanks to you guys who continue watching this episode or continue watching this series. You guys give me some good ideas right here. So what is going to happen right here, guys, is we are going to be trading Serpentera to Pokemon Gold and then trading them back. I did equip Serpentera with Pokemon Gold's Metal Coat. Now, there was a bit of a, you know, a debate, inner debate in my head of what Steel-type Pokemon I wanted to have. It was either Skarmory, it was either Skarmory, Scizor, or this, and it all made sense, guys. It was, uh, it was always going to be Onyx right here because, you know, I've always had an eye for this Pokemon. So here is Serpentera, equipped with the Metal Coat, and we're going to be giving it to Pokemon Gold and then watch it evolve right here. So let's go right ahead and, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and trade for Feraligator and put it in our Pokedex right here. So two Pokemon for one right here. And look at that. We're trading him. Yes, we're going to be trading him back. We're not going to be using Feraligator or anything like that. We're just adding towards the Pokedex, okay? So leave me alone. Okay, so here we have Feraligator. And here is a Serpentera and BAM! Because of that Metal Coat, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And... What is going on? Bam! Serpentera has evolved into Steelix. I've always wanted this Pokemon on my team somehow. And it's finally happening, guys. And yes, I know it's early, but hey. <laughs> I did say there was going to be a little bit of a change. So, let's go right ahead and save and continue. And flip-flop back and forth. So let's go ahead and uh, return these Pokemon back to its proper owner, which is me. So here we go for Alligator. It was nice having you for like a brief moment. And let's get uh, Serpentera back right here. Alrighty, here we go. The trade is happening. And yes, we're both getting, well, I'm getting more Pokedex entries right here. So here it is. We're coming back. The third, look at this. Serpentera is back with me. And, well, for alligators, back with me in gold. In old version, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay! Alrighty. Let's save and quit. Yeah, this feels good. This feels great. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at it uh, through the, P the Pokedex right here. So, let's go... All the way back down to... Onyx and Steelix. Okay, so here it is, guys. Steelix... The Iron Snake Pokemon, its body has been compressed deep underground. As a result, it is even harder than Diamond. Look at this Pokemon. Oh my god, I cannot believe we have it. Okay, so we're going to go back to Pokemon Crystal because there's uh, one more thing. One more thing that you guys need to check out. I'll be right back with you guys. Oh yeah, so I forgot about a little something. While I was doing this, this guy... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this little guy decided to hatch on us, and I was kind of afraid of, of that because, well, I was making a big, uh, big, big, big effort to try and find this guy. Yeah, so, say hello to Togepi. It came out of the egg, and yes, we do want to give it a nickname. Believe it or not, guys, we, you guys have seen Togepi on my team before, and it's only fitting that we do it right here. Everybody, say hello to, holy crap, Toge. Togepi. After what it says, Togepi. Toge oh, yeah. <laughs> Togepi. There we go. See, Draven doesn't know how to spell. Togepi. How's it going? <laughs> well, aren't we advanced? So let's go right ahead and take a look at both our newest Pokemon right here. One being Serpentera. The Steel and Ground type Pokemon, look at this. Level 8, and it has the same moves. And, well, as you guys can see, it is a very, very defensive Pokemon. I cannot wait to use it. Now, it does have one big downfall, and that's its, it's, it's its speed. We're going to fix that. We will fix that eventually. Now, here's the next Pokemon that I want to show you guys, and that is good old Togepi. Now, Togepi or Togepi, it does evolve via happiness. And it is going to be a while before this Pokemon even stays happy or anything like that. Uh, eventually, I kind of want to use it as a Togetic. You know, it is capable of you learning a bunch of moves. 
So yeah, this is the next Pokemon on our team, which means that, you know, we have a full team and all that crud. But yes, there will be more Pokemon in, the, in and out on this team right here, so don't worry about it, guys. I got this figured out. I got this on the, on the, you know, I got this, okay? So, what's next? The adventure. Oh, yeah, we have to take on, uh, whatchamacallit, Team Rocket in here. So, let's see. First is first, uh, you know what? I kind of want to be, I kind of be, I kind of want to be a little spoiled right here. Serpentera, it won't, no, it won't learn any, uh, other moves until later on. So, let's go ahead and give it Mud Slap since it actually will help. So let's go ahead and give that to uh, good old Serpentera right here. Bam. Okay, and then yes, Togepi and everybody else, we're going to be switch training and all that stuff. Yes, I know, I know, guys. I filled up my team a little too early. It doesn't matter. I accept the challenge right here. Now, here's another thing that, you know, another feature that you will actually find in the gold, uh, gold, silver, and crystal series is the apricorn trees right here, which you will find a white apricorn. In Generation 2, they did introduce how they make Pokeballs. And, well, who makes the Pokeballs? Talk to this individual, and he's gonna be like, Hmm, who are you? Draven, eh? You want me to make you some balls? Sorry, but that'll have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Ah, uh, don't worry. I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyway, they're at the well cutting, uh, cutting off the Slowpoke Tails for sale. So I'm gonna give them a blessing in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke. Old Kurt is on his way. Okay. Alrighty, so that means he's not gonna make us some Pokeballs. Anywho, let's go right ahead and take care of some business right here, especially with some Pokemon that we just have. Uh, here is the Slowpoke well. And there is uh, something I kind of want to do. I want to use Serpentera. I really do. Let's go ahead and see what this Pokemon's all about. As you guys can see, look, look, my Pokemon are even down. So we will be fine. We will be fine, guys. It's not like I've never risen up to the challenge before. And, well, here's Kerr, and he's like, Hey there, Draven. The guard up top took uh, took off when I shouted at him. But then I took a tumble down the uh, well. I slammed down, I slammed down my, uh, slammed down hard on my back. So I can't move. Rats. If, well, if I were fit, my Pokemon would have punished them. Ah, it can't be helped. Draven, show them how gutsy you are in my place. Seriously, why, why, why do I have to do it? And, well, here he is. Darn, I was standing guard up top when some old coot yelled at me. He started me so uh, so much that I fell down here. I think I'll get I'll, I'll vent my anger out by taking it out on you. Okay, well... Let's see if that happens. Let's see if that works out for you. Okay, so here we go. Taking on our first Team Rocket Grunt. And yes, he's going to be coming out with a ta 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 And it's wiggling its booty t And here is Serpentera. Level 8 Serpentera. <laughs> and, well, yeah, we are going to be slow. And they're going to be trying to do some uh, Tail Whip attack just to lower our defenses. But, yeah, that's not going to really happen. And yes, its accuracy has fallen. Let's go ahead and go with the Screech. And look at this quick attack. Yes, Steel type Pokemon, I love you. Another thing that has been introduced in this, uh, in the, well, in Generation Two, is both the Dark and Steel type Pokemon, and yes, we have one of them, the Steel type. Holy crud! Even though we're slow, it's gonna be a hard hit. Look at this tackle attack. Oh, that was uh, not so effective, but Serpentera right here, giving it a good hit right there. Look at that. Oh yes. Yes, sir. Okay. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with another Rattata. So, let's give, uh, let's see. Let's give Tornado a little bit of experience points because, well, its usefulness will be ending by the end of the next episode. We will be taking on another Gym Leader who, well, you know, this Pokemon will be, uh, have a huge advantage for it. And, well, look at this, Rattata using its Steel Whip. Not so effective, so let's go straight for a peck attack and crap baskets on the crapsicle stick. Look at that. Tornado has been hit pretty hard. And Rattata has been defeated. Bam! Tornado grows level 13, and it's learning Fury Attack. Okay! And just like that, we have defeated another, another individual right here. So, yeah, let's move on right here. Alright, she sees us. She hasn't seen my Serpentera yet. You know what? Thank you guys for the uh, the advice right here. This is all because of you. 
Okay, so here we go, another Pokemon uh, trainer grunt and all that crud, and yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at Zubin, I'm like, Zubin, I know you're at level 8, but you got this. And here comes a Leech Life, which will have no effect on this Pokemon. Look at that, not so effective. Steel type Pokemon for the win. Okay, time to be very strategic. Let's go with the Tackle Attack. Here comes the Leech, li leech Life Attack, and bam. Okay, critical hit, not so effective, but here comes a Tackle Attack. And that right there is like taking half its HP. You know, you can you can do it all you want. You're only getting one HP. You're gonna have to use up every every single every single PP just to beat me. And well, we almost defeat Zubat, so here comes another leash life attack. And uh, no. <laughs> we got a tank here! There we go. And Serpentera has done his thing and oh almost grows to level nine. And it's gonna be coming out with an Ekans. This is perfect for Serpentera. It's a pretty good name too, Serpentera. All right, let's go. Mud Slap and oh, Leer Attack. Do you think that's gonna work? No, sir. Here we go. Mud Slap and that blinds Ekans just a little bit. So let's go again with another Mud Slap. That won't work. Here we go. Mud Slap for the win. Oh, that nearly beats him. And more accuracy. And oh wow, we are wrapped. And I think. Yes, in uh, this generation, Wrath doesn't keep us still. We can still attack, so that right there is a positive. And Serpentera grows to level 9. Oh, yes. Bugsy, you're about to get destroyed. You rotten bat! Yes. Okay. Let's move on right here. Let's grab this. And we got ourselves a Super Potion. That's always nice. And, well, here we have another trainer. Might as well give somebody else a, uh, a licking or two. Let's go with, uh, not Fluff Bolt. Fluff Bolt is, uh, right now out of limits. Let's go straight for Tornado yet again. And look at this. Quit taking slow hotels. If we obeyed you, Team Rocket's rep would be ruined. Hmm. Your funeral. Okay. Okay, here we go. Taking on a rugged grunt, and he's gonna be coming out with a Ratata. All right, <sighs> maximum effort. Let's go, Ratata. You're about to get beat by Tornado Toto, and Tornado has oh wow, almost got him. And uh, Tackle Attack is almost getting him right there. So let's go straight for a Peck Attack. And crap, baskets. This guy has a Quick Attack, but look at this. Peck Attack does it, and nearly defeat or. Well, wow. the experience points, you gotta love. So, let's go ahead and take a risk. Let's go with Fluff Volt. I think... I think by the end of this episode, we might have to take out two Pokemon, just for the time being. I know, I know. And here's a Thundershock attack. Fluff Volt does its trick. Look at this. Zubat has been defeated. And we get a boosted. Bam! You know what? Screw it. We're gonna evolve this Pokemon. That's right. And, well, he's gonna be coming out with a Zubat. I am not gonna risk it. It's a one-time thing. Let's go for Serpentera. Let's grow more levels. Serpentera. I love that name. Great the nickname, guys. So here is Serpentera. And, well, let's see. We could use Mud Slap, but I think it's not... A, well, you can't really use it against flying types right here. Or so I'm mistaken. I don't know. That was a critical hit. That did not work. And here comes a Screech attack. Mm-hmm. Not so effective. Or, yeah, that that defense is going down quickly. Alrighty. And here we go again with another Screech attack. Zubat. Defense down. And, well, let's go straight for that tackle attack. And, oh, my God. Seriously, just give us a break. You like to drain our points, but, yeah, you, yeah oh, God. You're gonna die trying to defeat us. And, uh, well, look at this. Tackle attack for the win. Oh, yeah. Almost grows to level 10. I think I think we're sitting pretty right here, guys. Yeah, we're, we are really sitting pretty. Anywho. Let's go right ahead and do something right here, alright? Um, 
you know what? Serpentera is looking like a beast in this battle right here. So, let's go right ahead and take on this guy. Um, as you can see, a Slowpoke with its tail cut off. That is probably not a pretty sight. What do you want? If you interrupt our work, don't expect any mercy. Cobra Kai never dies, right? I'm just saying. Okay, so here we go. Another battle against a Grunt, and yeah, he's going to be coming out with his coffin right here. Alright, let's go. Coughing. How's it going? This is Serpentera. Serpentera about to beat you down because it's steel type uh, defense. Yes! Super effect. Oh, crap baskets. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to have to go with Screeches. Lots and lots of Screeches. And that was a critical hit. Yeah, this Pokemon. Yeah, it thinks it can measure up to Serpentera, but we have to hit it, like, quite a few times in order. Yeah, in order, let's see, in order to actually take this guy down, it, it is six levels ahead of us, so that's another one. And here comes a Tackle Attack. That really hits us hard. All right, Serpentera. Let's get it. Mud Slap Attack, and that is not effective, and bam! And that takes down Coughing with a critical hit. Serpentera, hey! <laughs> Look at you! And, oh, it almost grows to level 11. Okay. I think I did the right thing. Now, imagine if I would have had Rocky. That wouldn't have been good, guys. Alright, so, let's see. Yeah, Team Rocket was broken up three years ago. But we continued our activities underground. Now, you can have fun watching us stir up trouble. Oh, jeez. Okay, so... Kurt's in here, and he's looking up at the Pokemon. He's like... Way to go, Draven. Team Rocket has taken off. My back's better, too. Let's get out of here. Okay. So here we are back in Azalea Town, and here's Kurt, and he's, he's going to be like, Hi, Draven. You handled yourself r like a real hero at the well. I like your style. I would be honored to make balls for you as a trainer, or for a trainer like you. This is all I have now, but take it. And here we got a lure ball. Okay. I make balls from apricorns, collect them from the trees, and bring them to me. I'll make balls out of them. And yeah, we do have one apricorn right now. Let's just go ahead and give it to him, but we can give him up to 99. But I think if you give it, like, the more you, the more you give him, the more time he has to, you know, he has to spend to make them. So, yeah. Anywho, guys, this has been the episode, as you guys can see. The gym is open now, and uh, we got a little bit of business going in there. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for being patient. In the next episode, we're going to be going into the Azalea City Gym to take on Bugsy. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, there's a you know heart button right there. Click on it. Donations right there. If you guys want to be members to this channel, yes. We're going to be starting up a Pokemon Silver Members Only walkthrough. So if you guys want to catch that, there it is. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. See you guys.